Hello, everyone. My name is Brenton. I'm a Wikipedia editor and Wikicommons contributor. I'm 17 years old, and I come from Oakville, Ontario, Canada. I think Oakville is a very great town. We have great culture and sports and great people. I think it would be great if we could get a lot more of this on Wikimedia Commons. However, right now, we just don't have a lot of Oakville images on Wikimedia Commons that are of suitable quality. For example, this is our image of the mayor. <laughs> if we were able to replace this with the town of Oakville work, this would benefit everyone. I don't think he likes having that image up either, right? So in fact, if my proposal succeeds and I get the government of Oakville to open up the copyright for all of its images and videos, perhaps other people could take it as precedent and request free images locally on their own local level. And perhaps we can cover the North American continent with free images. <laughs> so let's get into it. My idea, I marketed it as Open Oakville and I'm still proud of the name. So how do you get free images? Well, the most simple, easy, and intuitive method is to just ask. So I shot them an email, and I never got a response. OK, so maybe I needed to be more direct with them. I heard from a climate organizer in Oakville, Ontario, that you were actually allowed to speak in front of the Oakville City Council if you registered ahead of time. So that was great. I registered for the September 10th meeting of the Committee of the Whole of the Oakville Town Council. And according to the instructions, I forwarded my presentation, my pitch presentation, and a proposed bylaw, which would release all Town of Oakville works under CCBYSA 4.0, which is a share-like license, which means that if you reuse the government of Oakville's works, you also have to distribute your own work under the same license. And I sent them in. And then right before I was due to present, the day before, the town clerk told me, hey, you're not actually going to be presenting because the committee of the whole doesn't let people present. And I was flabbergasted. This was, this was never a concern before. So that was a no-go. But luckily for me, during that same time, I was making a backup plan just in case I wouldn't be able to present at the Oakville Town Council. I was going to personally email a counselor to get them on my side. So I emailed my mother's loose friend, Counselor Scott. I'm not giving a surname. And I emailed him, very specifically included my proposed bylaw and a pitch presentation within the email. And he sent back a very cursory reply that said, oh, hey, that's great. Could you send me the presentation in the bylaw? And I sent it to him. And then he never replied. Okay, so we're 0 for 3 right now. So I registered for the September 16th council meeting, and this time I was sure I didn't book a committee of the whole. It's just a normal council meeting with everyone, everyone. And the thing about the committee of the whole is that it technically has everyone in it too, but it's the committee and not everyone. It's hard to understand, and I don't fully understand it either. However, I booked the whole city council meeting on September 16th. And I sent in my presentation and my proposed bylaw to free up all images and videos produced by the town of Oakville government, and the town clerk received it. And shortly before I was due to present, the town clerk told me that I would not be allowed to speak because I needed to register three weeks in advance to speak in front of the entire town council. And what's more maddening is that, okay, I can book a later session, right? I could just book an October town council meeting. And they said, no, you're not actually allowed to speak if you're requesting something specific. <laughs> so you're only allowed to speak if you're not really asking for anything. OK, I, I thought Oakville was a democracy. I, I'm rethinking that. <laughs> but OK, let's just go for plan number five. So the town clerk was actually pretty sympathetic to my struggle. And they said, OK, how about this? You contact the town comms director, Lisa. So she gave me Lisa's email. And Lisa was surprisingly receptive. 
And we scheduled a meeting on September 19th to discuss this issue further. And we met on September 19th. We met with, in total, I met with Jeff, Lisa, and Brett. Jeff and Brett are also employees of the town of Oakville, and I gave them my pitch presentation. I'll give you a very summarized version right here. So Wikipedia has a problem in that sometimes there are no images or there are very bad images being used to illustrate articles because of red tape or copyright restrictions. There's a presumption of copyright when you create a work. So even if the government of Oakville is not planning on profiting from its images, it's presumed to be copyrighted anyway. Other townships have released their works and we would do pretty well if we did that as well. Wikipedia and Oakville would both be helped by better images being on Wikipedia of Oakville. And here are the examples I used, right? You get a pretty good impression of San Francisco Mayor London Breed, for example, from her image, and you get a pretty good impression of Onatu from seeing this image of beach volleyball. So I gave them this basic pitch and they had some concerns. So Lisa said that the photographers actually wanted to profit off of these images. And it wasn't really the town's copyright that was the issue. I would completely neglected to consider this beforehand. Second of all, Brett also offered to create a Wicked Commons account and I actually offered to run the account. However, this is still being discussed with the legal team so I can't make anything yet. And finally, Lisa can raise a concern that I had anticipated in the first place. What if someone goes and makes a ton of money off of government of Oakville works? Wouldn't it have been nicer to charge some money in the first place? And I said, okay, sure, right. Maybe a major corporation does do this. However, you would also block small reusers from using town of Oakville works, such as the local newspaper. And also it's a share like license, meaning that if they are to comply with the copyright, they would need to make their works free to distribute as well. And Lisa seemed pretty satisfied by the answer. I think I did strike gold because when talking with Lisa, Lisa also used to be the comms director of nearby Mississauga. She stated that Mississauga was very, very stingy with the copyright. So I had struck gold by choosing Oakville and Oakville is a lot more permissive with copyright. I would love to give you a conclusion, but it's still wrapped up in the legal department. I can't give you a definitive answer as of yet, but I can give you some preliminary lessons that I learned in case you want to try anything similar in your own community. So first of all is that don't, don't go through the legal system. They don't want to hear you. Your elected <laughs> representatives don't care about you, right? In fact, bureaucracy for the win. Right? They're actually far more sympathetic to you because you can talk to them one-on-one -on -one instead of speaking to a group. They're on your side. As long as you frame the images as a PR push for the government, your local government, then they're going to be likely most receptive to it. Also, you're going to have to be clear on what exactly you're proposing. You need to be clear because you need to remember, you're talking to a non-expert here. Most people don't know about Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons or copyright law or copyright policy on Wikimedia Commons. So you're gonna have to explain it to them. And you're gonna have to explain the clear benefit of free images being indexed higher on Google image search results. And finally, you have to keep legal issues in mind. A lot of photographers do wanna make some money off of their works and we can't fault them with that. Um, uploading images to Wikimedia Commons ultimately is an act of charity. But with my advice, maybe we will one day be able to paper the North American continent, continent with three images. If any of you are interested in how my work further develops and when I hear back from the Legal Issues Committee, then you can scan this QR code. Never underestimate the power of shame. <laughs> so could you point to any other municipalities in Canada that already do this in terms of maybe bullying your municipality saying, well, blah, blah, blah does it. Don't you want to be like blah, blah, blah? That's actually a very good point. I was trying to find something like this. I, I couldn't find anything in Canada, but I did find that Fairfax County, Virginia had a Flickr account with CC0 images. So I pointed that out to them. And I pointed out the U.S. federal government, 
the big yeah, right, yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> and the California government and also the Florida government also did this. And I wrote that in my email and they never replied. <laughs> And they've been working with Wikimedia Canada on uh, best practices or like a, a list of folks who are doing it well. It's You're right. It's very hard. I just did some Googling and checking. Maybe Vancouver does it, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. It's hard to tell. All right. Thank you. Um, um, uh, but both, both of you. <laughs> Federal government has their own open government license. Thank you. Nope. 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 Even more copyright. It'll be more complicated because. Yeah. There's a crown in. Yeah. Yeah. The federal government has their own open government license. And then every single province also has their own open government license. And then there's also several municipalities now that also have their own (laughs) custom open government license with a couple of terms. and is that usable on common Maybe. Uh, I, I believe it is. Yeah. Maybe, usually, no. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of them have a no derivative done up. So I just would like to say that I'm enormously sympathetic to this project because I have been doing sort of the same thing regarding work created by the Michigan state government. I think ah. that in the US, at least, the way local governments work on a legal way is that they're kind of uh, just entities that are created by state governments. So if a state government decides that everything created by the state government is public domain, that will also generally apply to local governments. And that's why, like California, all the local work by local governments there are public domain because the state constitution basically prohibits the state's public copyright. So I tried to get my local legislators, legislators on board with this in Michigan and say, like, hey, could you please pass a law that says you can't hold copyright on stuff? And they said they looked into it and then they didn't get back. <laughs> They talk to their lawyers and lawyers say, no, this right might be worth money. Don't let anything go that might be worth money. <laughs> I'm going to run for legislator at some point on, on this issue. <laughs> Good luck, man. Yeah, so uh, uh, SDKB, um, I have a question that sort of falls up on Ellie's uh, point there. Um, like, the first, I think what you've done here is heroic. And <laughs> Thank you know, you. I'm both unfortunately a little unsurprised to see that there's bureaucratic hurdles that get in the way. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of communities are not going to be as lucky to have someone like you willing to go through all those steps in order to try and get things released under um, an open license. And the power of defaults really comes to mind for me, where in the U.S. I think it's not that, you know, every federal agency is you know, so much more charitable than those in Canada that they want to release their images. It's just that there's this overarching law that makes it so that by default stuff is in the public domain, and then that's where it ends up, and we get to benefit from it. Um, and so that brings to mind the question for me of, like, how well is our effort spent when we're pushing on the local level for these sorts of smaller, probably easier to get changes versus something like a national campaign to you know, remove crown copyright, um, something to change the default that would be a much bigger lift to get something like that passed, but that might ultimately uh, to have a bigger impact there. Um, and yeah, just like, I'm not sure about it myself. How do you? Those two yeah. Priorities. Yeah, definitely. Wikimedia, like the Wikimedia Foundation, spends like a lot of money on lobbying, and it's very easy to buy a congressman, right? So, <laughs> I mean, have you seen the Eric Adams thing? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I think a lot of money could actually be spent on that. I was actually seriously considering emailing my local MP to make this a federal law. But she's also our defense minister, so she's sort of <laughs> occupied with other things. An assistant. Email her. Yeah. Hi, uh, fellow GTA resident. Uh, have, you, have you thought about ambushing your ward counselor at their like, community events? <laughs> and that way they cannot really ghost you? <laughs> um, That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. Uh, I might and try it. Not only you can go to the one that you your current address is like inside that ward, you can also go to other wards. Uh, like community events, maybe they usually have it during summertime because that's their way to use taxpayers' dollars to, to campaign for their home. 
on the upcoming year for election, definitely kind of do that then make it a close year because they have to be there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. You've been waiting a long time. First, I'll say that technically that that you've done is very impressive, so kudos to you. Fighting. Um, second, I am confident you'll get this done. I would encourage you, when you're successful, to put a how-to guide together so that every other person can go to their city and council and do the exact same thing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if this succeeds, um, I will definitely be writing some sort of instruction manual. Uh, I'm not overly familiar, uh, familiar with the Canadian political system, but do you have an MP at the provincial level? Have you tried contacting them? Um, we, we, there is also or the provincial Ontario level. Ontario have like an open government license or anything? Uh, Ontario, well, like, the thing is, I haven't actually like done a thorough research into Ontario laws, but there's no Wicked Commons template saying this is the work of the government of Ontario, so it naturally follows that Ontario doesn't release these works. Yes, um, great presentation. Have you uh, spoken to the local press about this issue? Have you thought about writing either an op-ed or getting some sort of journalistic, you know, stakeholder involved? That's a very good idea. That's I, I have not thought of God that yet. So, so genuinely, thank you for that yeah, idea. Work close to that. Power, power of shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing with these these sorts of boards is you have to make it easy for them. If, if you come up with a, if you walk in with a proposal that's not easy enough, they have to already bounce it by the time they're ready. That's real. When you're talking to the New York, uh, with the um, uh, uh, journalistic collective of all local uh, newspapers and such, tell them to ask the Queen Bailey Eagle in New York. They have used the pieces of my pictures. Queen mm. Bailey Eagle? Pictures, those are not city pictures. Official city pictures are still, uh, are still bound by copyright, but the, uh, there's also the uh, Metropolitan Transit Authority, which runs all the subways and bridges and things. And they license all their pictures. Mm. So, um, not that, of course, New York is a somewhat different place, but, uh, but still, uh, you, you might get someone out of that way through the journalist. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to like how people in the city government, like, just were like, were they open to discussing copyright without a lawyer, or were they like, oh, we can't like make any statements about this? And then I'm also curious if, like, you would just discuss buying now starters with copyright. Like, you know, like, if starters want to make money, why does the city pay the starters? All right, thank you. So, well, I never got in contact with the actual legislators, but um, within the bureaucracy, a lot of people were sympathetic to the idea of um, releasing future works like under no copyright licenses, especially the portraits of politicians since they want to promote themselves. Um, but it's pretty hard to get them to pony up extra money for a little pet project that you have, right? A lot of people aren't familiar with um, copyright licenses and anything similar, and they just see it as, okay, we're putting in extra money so Wikipedia can benefit. Oh yeah, looking forward might be, a, you know, like a, even even laws moving forward and looking back, there will be a right. A <laughs> Thank you.